Lying roughly 100 kilometers north of the Scottish mainland, this archipelago comprises around 100 islands and islets, with fewer than 20 of them inhabited. Today, we explore the Shetland Islands in the Northern Isles of Scotland. Welcome to Earth from Space. The Shetland Islands separate the Atlantic Ocean on the west from the North Sea to the east. They cover an area of around 1,400 square kilometers and have a rugged coastline approximately 2,700 square kilometers long. The largest island, known as the mainland, has an area of around 900 square kilometers, making it the third largest Scottish island. The next largest are Yell, Unst and Fetla, which lie in the north, as well as Bressa and Wolsey, which lie to the east. Lerwick, located on mainland, is the capital and largest settlement of the archipelago. The most striking feature in this week's image, captured in July 2021 by Copernicus Sentinel-2, is the vivid turquoise-colored bloom, visible to the east of the islands. This type of bloom is slightly different to the harmful cyanobacteria often visible around the Baltic Sea. In the absence of any known samples being analyzed, it is assumed that it is a coccolithophore bloom, a type of microscopic marine algae living in the upper layer of the sea. Like all phytoplankton, coccolithophores contain chlorophyll and have the tendency to multiply rapidly near the surface. In large numbers, coccolithophores periodically shed their tiny scales, called coccoliths, into the surrounding water. These calcium-rich coccoliths turn the normally dark water a bright, milky turquoise color. Although invisible to the eye, in large quantities they are easy to spot in satellite imagery. These types of algae play a huge role in the ocean uptake of atmospheric carbon dioxide as their shells sink to deeper ocean depths after they die, storing carbon in the process. This year's edition of the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, is taking place in Scotland from the 31st of October to the 12th of November. The summit aims to inspire faster and more ambitious action from the international community to achieve the goal of limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. As in previous years, ESA has a strong presence at COP26, showcasing how satellite data strengthens our understanding of climate from space. <laughs> 